Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Wilting Rose and today is the second week of the 30 day cash challenge by It's Quirty Loves. This is days 6 to 10 and this week's Sims I think personally came out so good. The prompts were it girl, devil, post-apocalyptic, flower and university student. Now, like I said, the first prompt was It Girl, and at first I did think of the song because that's iconic, but I really wanted to go with the sleek aesthetic on Pinterest, almost like Gossip Girl. Um, I've always liked the idea of a black slip dress and then dressing it up, and I think in this case it makes the staple for the sim. And I, I don't know what it is with the colour red, but so far the sims I've made in that colour have all come out absolutely stunning. I don't know if it's because it gives me like creative liberty to try anything I want occult wise and use all the cool CC I have to make this sim. And I, I don't think I mentioned it, but this sims prompt was devil. And I've never actually made a devil sim before, so this was super fun for me and I think she turned out amazing. But like I said, I, I genuinely don't know what it is, but so far, the Sims in Red, they've come out, they just, they're just amazing. <laughs>
Now, the next Sims prompt was post-apocalyptic. She's not the best out of the five, that's for sure, I know I can say that, but I think that maybe that's because I've already done a Sim based on the post-apocalypse, um, and I it wasn't recent, but it still feels recent, so that's maybe why I didn't have much uh, like creativeness for it, I guess, and that's why I didn't enjoy it so much, so... Yeah, she turned out really interesting, um, but very similar to the first sim I made, I think, under that aesthetic, so as much as I tried to change it up a bit, I, I do think she stayed the same. And I, I have to say this for this sim, like, I had such a blast. It took me almost as long to do this one as it did the devil prompt. So this prompt was flower. Uh, it was also the last sim that I made because for the life of me, I couldn't figure out what direction I wanted to go with her. I knew from the get go, I wanted to base her on a lily of the valley because that's my favorite flower, but I had no idea how to do that. I searched up like symbolism pictures and looked at what horoscope is kind of linked to it, which I think it was Taurus, but I've never been good at like adapting that kind of thing. So I, I pulled back from the idea for a second and I just decided to use the colors of the flower and incorporate them into the sim. So starting with white for her hair, green for the top and pants and brown for the boots. And I think she turned out absolutely stunning.
And for our final sim, I, I think she turned out really cute. The prompt was simple and just let me create a normal sim that wasn't fantastical, I guess. So the prompt for this one was being uh, a uni student. I imagine she would be like an English literature student, um, almost effortless but still put together. That's kind of how um, her outfit came together. And I just really enjoyed the cool down she was from making uh, sims for a couple of hours. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, I know I certainly did, I had a blast with the variety of prompts and how unique each sum came out, um, and the next video in this challenge will be out next Tuesday just like the previous week, and I think from what I can see we have some really fun prompts ahead of us, so I hope you all enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.